All right, so it's like 4.50 a.m. in the morning. We're on our way to Valley Forge National Park. We're gonna hit Valley Creek, try to get some brown trout. Um, we're doing that on our way to Philly. I'm going to visit my buddy Ari. I might fish with my buddy Rich. Um, we're trying to get out here early because it's gonna be hot today. So by like nine, and, nine or 10 in the morning, trout fishing is gonna be trash and it's bad for the fish. Um, so we're gonna get out of Harrisburg. We're gonna hop on the turnpike. Um, we'll check back in when we get a little bit closer. All right. You wanna come catch the trout? All right, so we just rolled into Valley Forge National Park. Um, obviously, this is a great place for history. You know, um, George Washington, the encampment here when the British were in Philadelphia during the Revolutionary War. So there's a ton of really neat historical stuff here. Um, I'm just driving through the park now. Um, but the reason we're actually here is because um, a couple years ago, I came here with my family and I saw a little um, like informational plaque thing um, down by where George Washington lived when he was here and it had a picture of a brown trout on it. And you know, I got really excited. I, I read a little bit more and I found out that um, along with the Schuylkill River, which is right here, and I think has, you know, bass, walleye, catfish, etc. cetera, um, there's a small stream called uh, Valley Creek that runs, I think, like 11 or 12 miles through um, some, um, you know, suburban and woodland and farmland type area around here. Um, and it happens to have um, wild brown trout. So we're coming around this bend right here. Um, unlike Europe, which has a longer history and better architecture, um, we don't have a lot of triumphant arches. Um, you know, think uh, the Arc de la Triomphe in France, built by Napoleon. Um, but here at uh, Valley Forge National Park is one of the best examples, along with one in New York City and one in Yellowstone, of a triumphant arch. This was built in the early 1900s, I think by Freemasons, dedicated to the uh, men who fought. I'm actually gonna turn around right here, show you guys that. You can't really see it because of the trees. Let me try to get a better angle. Right, right there. Okay, so that's the triumphant arch. Um, really cool. Um, if I have time later, I'll try to get some footage of it, but I probably won't. Um, so anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna keep driving through this windy park. There's a guy with really, a really hairy back, kinda overweight, just walking with his shirt off. Um, so that's great. So really nice day, hot, really hot. Um, like I said, we're gonna go try to get some brown trout, uh, wild brown trout on um, Valley Creek out here at Valley Forge uh, National Park. Right after we go through these neat eagle pillars, um, I'm gonna turn it off and I will turn you guys back on as soon as we get on the creek. All right, so we just got out here to Valley Creek. Uh, it's nice and cool underneath the canopy in here. It's not so hot. Um, we're gonna, ooh, the water's nice and cold. So we're gonna throw a 1 16th ounce spinner. We got the five foot ugly stick, six pound test line. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get into some trout here. So I hate people who always look at the bright side of stuff. Like, my little brother, he's like a eternal optimist. He always looks on the bright side of everything. And I was just thinking like, I've been fishing for like 45 minutes and although I've had some bites, I haven't caught anything. And I hate those people who are like, hey man, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. It's like, yeah, I mean, getting out to fish, just the ritual of it is a lot of fun. And that's part of the fun, but like, I'm out here to like catch fish, you know? So like, long story short, this mini diatribe, I don't ever say to me, you know, that's why they don't call it catching. Cause like, it, it truly is all about smacking fish. Like that's, that's the name of the game. That's why you go out to fish so you can 
so you can crack open a couple um, and it's just not happening for me yet I mean it's still early I still probably gonna stay for another like hour but I do have to go visit my buddy Ari relatively early if you want to know we're gonna go on a nice walking tour um, we're gonna go try to see some cool architecture maybe get some good food uh, do some other stuff um, so I don't have as much time to fish as I would like so I need to get out of the fishing realm and into the catching realm ASAP uh, so I'm not depressed all day oh got him 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 wow that's great so not a not a monster brownie not a monster brownie by any chance or by any means but all right i'm gonna wet my hands Ooh, 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 ooh. so let's let's take a look at look at the fine fine red colors on the on the tips of the fin you got the beautiful oh well he flopped off okay not a clean release not a clean release we'll get you in here we'll get you in here buddy we'll get you in here so one last look for the camera let me just get some water on him one last look for the camera beautiful beautiful beauty wild rainbow probably i'm gonna say i'm gonna say six or seven inches just a healthy healthy gorgeous gorgeous brownie let's let's oh look at those colors wow the tips of the fin beautiful they got like little teeth i'm gonna let you get back in here brownie i appreciate you making my day hopefully i'll find some of your friends let's get you back in here uh uh uh, uh. well it's funny how one fish changes your whole outlook on an entire day I was just about to sink into like depression uh, genuine genuine depression for the rest of the day and it was gonna ruin my Philadelphia trip but now now I'm like now I'm cooking with fire and now we're gonna go we're gonna go smack some more I think that's I think that's the move let's go smack some more brownies uh, that was a good six or seven inch wild brown trout here on Valley Creek in Valley Forge so yeah let's go get a bigger one let's go let's go shoot for a 10 inch or next and then we'll we'll try to up the ante and get a footer all right i'm nice not sure let me move up just a little bit we got a really nice nice stretch right here really nice beautiful stretch see if we can coax see if we can coax one of these wild brown trout to uh eat my spinner Again, I'm going with barbless hooks today. Um, as always, it's good for the fish. It's easy to get them off. You might lose a couple, which is heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. But overall, it's just like, it's like the sporting thing to do. It's why you don't take like an AR-15 out to hunt like a white-tailed deer. You know what I mean? It's like not, it's not, it's not the same at all. That's a terrible analogy. But, um, you know, that's an analogy that I'm going to go with for right now. Um, nothing yet though, nothing quite yet, just gonna keep, keep casting this spinner out, take a couple steps, cast her out again, ooh, nice, nice, just had a nice hit, I saw a flat, ooh, got him, got him, ooh, that's a little bit bigger, that's a little bit bigger, let's keep him up, let's keep the pressure on him, ooh, that's a, that's a lot bigger, dang, dang, ooh, that's a nice one, uh-uh-uh dang that's real nice that's that's keeper size i mean you can't keep anything here but wow look at the gold look at the gold on this guy look at not as not as red but really gold wow absolutely absolutely incredible fish wow that's he's kind of thick too he's like he's like a ooh, ooh. oh oh he's a little bit plump he's got some plumpness to him yeah, so that's what happens with these barbless hooks, man. Wetting my hands, wetting my hands. Just want to get a picture of them in my in my hand. Look at this guy. Look at that. Wow, absolutely beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. We're going to get it back in the water really quick. I just want you to see this guy. Plump. Extra plump. Return of the plumps. So really nice, plump, plump brown trout. We're going to get this guy directly back in the water. He's been out of the water for maybe 5 seconds, 20 seconds. We're just gonna put him right back in, get some get some oxygen in his gills, and he's gone. Wow, he's he's back to his family. 
He's back to the life he likes to live. I'm just trying to say stuff to sound interesting, but I don't really know what I'm talking about, but cool, awesome. All right, so we just got a nice, like, I'm gonna say like nine, 10 inch plump trout, real plump. So, so we got two back to back. Um, while I'm still talking, I'm actually gonna cast out again. See if we can get another guy. This is like a great, great stretch. Really great stretch. That was a nice, nice fish. I don't wanna like press my luck here and try too hard and mess up the shot, but there's like a huge, like probably like six foot deep pool right over here. So let me see if there's anything else. Ooh, ooh, big, 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 big. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, he keeps striking at it. Oh. Dude, I just got the chills, wow. There is a monster in there that just struck at this like five times. Oh, he was so big. That's, that's the big one we want. That's, that's what we're trying to get right there. Holy crap. Oh, got him, got him. There he is, there he is, there he is, got him, got him. Wow, another nice one. Not as plump, not quite as plump, a little thinner, but longer, wow. It's like, what do you want? Do you want girth or do you want length, ladies? Um, Wow, another great fish. Another absolutely great brown trout. Oh, feisty, feisty. All right, all right, guy, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get you off, I'm gonna get you off, I'm gonna get you off. Look, I'm gonna get you off, I'm gonna get you off. I'm not here to eat you, I'm your friend. Oh, man, that's probably like, oh, that's a good like 11 inches, holy cow. When they get bigger, not as much brightness of the red spots, but you get this nice golden underbelly. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a long guy, man. Wow, that's great, okay. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get you off, we're gonna get you off. All right, he popped off, he popped off, and he's gone. And he's gone. Wow, very nice, very nice. Still nothing, still nothing. Ooh, ooh, oh, my, ooh, man. Well, you can tell this body of water's healthy. I see like dozens of young brown trout, like one or two inches long right down here, which is great points to the health and vitality of the creek. I'm gonna try one more time. Now I'm casting it into the... Oh, got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, 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 oh. Dang, that's a real big one. I can tell. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Very nice. That's probably the biggest one today, yeah. Uh-uh-uh. Very nice, very nice. That's number, that's number four today. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be the biggest because he's girthy and really long. Wow, really nice trout. I'm gonna let him go right over here. So that's number four, that's not the monster. Not quite the monster we're looking for, but holy cow, he is girthy. He is a girthy, girthy fish. I want you to see him compared, look at him compared to my hand. Wow, wow, very plump, so healthy. This is just a, for being this close to a, uh, Philadelphia, this is such a great, great fishery. I don't know if the GoPro 1080p will do it justice, but you can see the sun coming in, nice mist, little walking path over here. Um, just a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous day out here on Valley Creek and Valley Forge. We already got, we already got four trout. Um, we're still looking for a really, really big one. I mean, we've gotten ones that are 10, 11, maybe 12, and some plump ones, real plump, but we're still looking for that, like, gator. I know, I know that's like the word for a bluefish, but we're looking for, like, the gator, the gator brown trout. Um, so we're gonna keep fishing here. I'm thinking... I'm not sure, but I may, I may switch up because I already fished here for a little bit and I still have some time. Got one, got him. Ooh, that's a nice one too, dang. Ooh, man, ooh, 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 ooh. Nice, ooh, that's real nice. Dang, son. That's, that's really nice, wow. That's like one of my bigger ones today. That might even be the biggest one today. I know I said that about like each one, but holy cow. Man, look at this guy. Ooh, he's got better colors than the other one, wow. It's amazing that brown trout populations in the exact same area have such a variety. I mean, I know people are different, people look different, but when you think brown trout, you think they'll all look the same. This brown trout, actually this might, oh, he plopped off. 
All right, well, that still counts. I touched him. I didn't get a great video of it, but still touched him. So we're going to count that as numero five. Um, sorry, I didn't get a great shot of that. But yeah, that'll be number five right there. All right, so my GoPro died while I was at the last hole, so I didn't get to do a proper outro. So we just got done fishing Valley Creek just to sort of recap, summarize, give you like a high level overview. Um, caught some nice uh, wild brown trout. Uh, these people are walking on the road. Thank you for getting to the side. A lot of joggers and walkers out here, really nice. Hello, hello. Put down my GoPro. Anyways, yeah, so we got five nice wild brown trout. Um, great day. We were here for like an hour and a half. It's only eight o'clock. It's already like 80 degrees. So I'm done fishing trout for the day. We'll give the trout a nice break.